if you read the question, always read the question five to a hundred times to make sure you understand what the hell is going on. I've written down here the pertinent information regarding the question. Um, beforehand, you may have no idea what type of distribution you need. You may have to come up with something on the fly even. But uh, if you look at the question, we do have independent um, trials basically, right? Uh, somebody having sleep apnea doesn't depend on whether the previous person did or not. So uh, in this case, I have my random variable and it was given, right? The number of uh, patients tested until one patient has sleep apnea. When you see something like this, you can rephrase this in general and say, look, this is really just saying the number of trials, number of patients tested until, until one success, until the first success. That's exactly the geometric distribution. So I know that N is distributed GOP, which means I can write down the generic distribution if you want. Uh, P sub N of N is equal to probability that someone has a sleep apnea times one minus P raised to the N minus one. This is the formulation uh, that we want to write for this particular case. I know there's a, another way to write down a geometric random variable. This is the one pertaining to our, our situation here. First thing we want to do is, is use this information here. This was given, and then we want to find this. And this is what we're after. This is what we're after right there. Uh, so that's a conditional probability. So I want to use the memory list property of geometric distribution. All right, so what does this give us right here? This is related to the survival function for the geometric random variable. So since we have this, okay, uh, we know uh, we have, we have that the probability that the, the n is greater than or equal to four, this is really the same thing as saying what's the probability that n is strictly greater than three? Why am I writing it this way? Because this looks like the survival function. And in the last video, uh, well, in the previous video, I wrote down um, a representation for this. Probability that n is greater than or equal to uh, greater than three. Uh, this is equal to, uh, this is equal to uh, one minus p cubed. One minus p cubed. Okay, refer to that video if you didn't see that. Okay, we're given that that's equal to R. So, uh, then, then, um, one minus P cubed is equal to R. So let's find out what P is then. I'm gonna get P by itself. Uh, I get P by itself. This tells me that P is equal to uh, one minus the cube root of R. All right, just do some algebra there. Okay, there's my value uh, for p. Now I'm more or less ready to find what I'm looking for, which is this, which is this thing. This is kind of my scratch word building up to that. Okay, I want to use the memory list property here. Okay, so, so, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the probability uh, that n is greater than or equal to 12 given that n is greater than or equal to four. Well, uh, this is equal to, according to what I said in the previous video, this is equal to the probability that n, if you think about this, what's the difference here? Um, the difference is uh, eight. Previous video I said they basically take one more. n greater than or equal to nine, which is the same thing as saying the probability that n is strictly greater than eight, which is equal to, again, survival function, this is one minus p to the eight. So all I need to do is replace p. Replace p in here and I'm good to go. So I have this value of p, I have this value of p, and I wanna stick it in right there, and I'm good to go. So, hence, Hence, um, the probability we're interested in, um, we have this, probability n greater than or equal to 12 given n greater than or equal to four 
is equal to, replace P, right? 1 minus, and I have this one. So this is going to be equal to, if I substitute, if I substitute, this is going to be the cube root of R raised to the eighth power, which is equal to R to the eighth third. So that takes care of it. If we were given numerical values, of course, we could have an actual probability. Um, but this is the situation we were given, and that is my answer. Please comment below. Questions? Like the video. Subscribe. Thank you.